I'm very for the policy. I think it's going to help the school overall. This was a problem last year. We have a problem with kids uh, leaving class, skipping class, vaping in the bathrooms. I have two young sons. When they were in school, their friends were using vapes and nicotine and a number of different uh, things that kids just are getting access to. We've had instances in the past where students, uh, their first hit uh, triggers something in them, where the next thing is they're seizing or they're having a medical emergency, and now we're responding to something that we don't know what's happening. It took us decades to figure out how bad nicotine and tobacco was, so this is something very similar. It's also going to help us with people being tardy, and people being absent, and it will also help with people walking around the hallways as well. You're making a choice putting that device, that vape, that electronic, whatever it is in your backpack, or you're making a choice to come to school to purchase something. Know what you're getting into. Know that if you are caught vaping on this campus, uh, if it is a tobacco um, first offense, two days ISS, um, and then the second offense uh, in that semester would be a placement to AOC for 20 days. To experiment with things that are highly addictive, like nicotine, you just don't know. You don't have that executive function to be able to figure stuff out. And by the time you do figure it out, it's too late and you're already addicted to it. If you're walking into a restroom and you see smoke, or you see this or that, just leave. You don't have to say anything. Walk out, tell the teacher not. It's up to you. It's your individual choice. But if you want to make a difference on this campus and you want to curtail stop vaping in general, we have to know.